Now the Michigan man, Jake Moody, to get us started. And we are underway from Kansas City. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So first and 10 now from the 30. Right to the air is Mahomes. And this pass caught by Gray. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second and seven. To throw, it's Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Hollywood Brown. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquise Brown, 67 yards. And the Chiefs need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0, KC. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10, right at the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Here's Purdy. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. And throwing here, Purdy. There goes a deep ball in zone. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel, 37 yards. And the Niners are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. I mean, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? Moody good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. 
And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Man, confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Down the left sideline. And down to the 16-yard line. A huge play there on the screen pass. 54 yards. Where's the contain there? And yes, that's a question because that was just a simple drop-off. But he hits the Jets, and all of a sudden, the C's part in front of him. A huge result there to put the field. Oh. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Clyde edwards Elaire, A 16-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Butker on for the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Back to throw, Purdy. And that's complete to McCaffrey. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But they had to write down at the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. Purdy from the gun on third down. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll go for it. Here's Purdy. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Here's Mahomes to throw. Finding Edwards Alaire once again. Touchdown! Clyde Edwards Alaire with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving. They're fired up. And it carries over to the other side of the ball. Extra point by Bucker. 
his own target, and it's now 21 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown, so now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. Purdy now to throw. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. Now Purdy. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Purdy looking to throw. A hit as he throws there incomplete. And now to compensate, at least on this drive, a momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Shotgun now with Purdy. Now he's got it. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. Purdy. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Niners have got it back to within a score. Now Moody for the PAT. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. 
And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, after watching him ring the bell that many times and putting the ball in the end zone, throwing it, he had to figure they had to bring some type of pressure. They had to change things up on defense. And able to get to him, put him on the ground, so maybe just something to throw him off a little bit. Yeah, that had to feel a lot better for the defensive guys. They've been getting carved up in this one. To finally knock him on the ground and force an incompletion, that's got to be a sigh of relief. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. two-minute mark in this first half of action. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They're going to try and throw. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And Mahomes sees something. He'll change the play. to throw again. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Rice. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. Well, that is open on that type of a play. But they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end of the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. Here's second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. Down the left sideline. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 36 yards. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by Butker is on target. And a lead now up to 14. Now, 
after the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. That's caught. He finds Danny Gray. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Second and ten. Back to throw. Purdy. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 23. 27 yards there, a first down. Now a second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll look to throw again. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Final play of the half, Purdy. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point try now for Moody. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settle the booth ready for quarter number three. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? 
And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now he's getting the ball to start the second half. How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. A third quarter action from Kansas City. Second down and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Purdy will look to throw again here. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The throwing here, Purdy. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Here's Purdy. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Purdy now to throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Now the offense failed earlier on the previous crack at this, but they're going again on fourth down. Now Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Purdy looking to throw. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle from six yards away. And the Niners have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. And that's just another in a long line of passing touchdowns for him today. To say that he's been on fire would definitely be an understatement. Now Moody for the PAT. He's got it. This thing's turning a bit wild here. We're tied at 28. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Now this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out and 
execute their game plan and keep moving. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They go play action. Now Mahomes. It's complete to Brown, right side. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Second down and eight. now to throw. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards aware. And some room to work. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 26. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. And again it's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Man open the left side is Brown. Touchdown! Hollywood, Marquise Brown with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and they jump back ahead, 35-28. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Second and a couple. Looking to throw. Purdy. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Shotgun now with Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Here comes second down at five. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Touchdown for the Oilers. 
Brandon Ayuk, 28 yards. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. The extra point, a vital one, and he gets it to go. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. They'll come up first and 10 here. Mahomes going to change things up. Mahomes. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. I don't know if you need the big shot right there or not because you've still got time to work some of the shorter stuff and try to get into field goal range. They did go for the big one there. It would have been nice, but it winds up incomplete. Mahomes gets this to Moore. He's across midfield. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Both the defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Here's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. They come up now on second and two. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, Parker. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Here's first down. Here's Pacheco once again. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I'm just going to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. Pacheco. 
And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's Pacheco. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And his kick here is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So there was a little meat on that ball, a little more than a chip shot considering the circumstances, but he's able to bang it home in what should be the game winner. And the key was getting him into a good position to kick from. I mean, if that's a 52-yarder, you're going to have some anxious moments, but kickers nowadays, you give them anything under 40, and they're automatic. Here's first and ten. Purdy with one final shot here. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something new.